so we basically have this little interesting thing here called HoloLens that I quickly want to talk a little bit about uh, this sort of idea that uh, we're gonna wear these kind of glasses in the future like glasses like this and our phone is gonna basically be in our glasses kind of like virtual reality uh, I tried out the HTC Vive uh, I've done videos on it it's pretty cool man virtual reality is kind of cool uh, but have it replace our phones right now we kind of have speculations about that so the HoloLens founder uh, and Windows Insider Chief say smart glasses will replace smartphones so okay so this is kind of like an interesting thing is this gonna replace smartphones are we gonna wear these things and not walk around with these things uh, it's, it's a good question so first we do have something called Apple glasses uh, which supposedly is suspected to be launched 2020 and will be bigger than the Apple iPhone so uh, my, my first uh, like my first thing that pops into my brain uh, when I think Apple glasses is it's probably going to be some other pretentious thing uh, that Apple will release kind of like the Apple watch it feels like it's gonna be like um, like a gimmick that's not gonna be mainstream uh, but it does sound interesting Apple glasses 2020 it's only two or three years more until 2020 so I'm gonna see what that is uh, but uh, so we have a guy here uh, who created HoloLens uh, uses a combination of real and virtual worlds to form a mixed reality okay uh, and it has a good quote here. Uh, the potential of these devices is that they could one day replace your phones, TVs, and all these screens. Uh, once your apps, videos, information, and even social life are projected into your line of sight, you won't need any other screen based gadgetry. Uh, so, um, the, the first thing that kind of pops into my mind is it, uh, after I've been using HTC Vibe, which is like a 1000 euro. Uh, thing you have on your head is it gets annoying like it gets annoying to always uh, walk around with this like thing so I can uh, I can imagine like having glasses on all the time would be so annoying uh, I it, it really feels like that's gonna take a long time if it ever even gonna happen the good things with phones these days is you can put them away okay you can put them away uh, and I kind of feel like that's kind of like what we want. Uh, we don't want to walk around with technology on us all the time. Uh, and if it's going to happen, it feels like it is at least 10 years away. Uh, have another good quote here. Uh, let's talk about what mobile means. People think about mobile as this thing they carry around in their pocket. Um, but it's not the only mobile device uh, that in the future we're going to have other mobile uh, categories uh, it says as humans it's actually very unnatural for us to stare at a screen um, yeah I mean it, it is a little bit weird how we stare at the screen but I don't it's going to be even more weird if we're going to wear these glasses all the time I mean we, we saw Google try it with Google Glass uh, which turned out to be a consumer failure so it's like it feels like at least 10 years away at least maybe even 20 years uh, away before we actually would see something like this happening I don't think so I don't, definitely not in the, in the upcoming years uh, but um, what do you think? Do you think we're gonna walk around with these uh, glasses things uh, on us? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it feels more like some science fiction from some silly movie. Uh, but it is a little bit interesting to speculate about this AR augment augmented reality. Um, <laughs> HTC Vive is pretty sick. And um, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, but something's going to happen. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see.